Tailgating season is kicking off, and with the right food and the right drink, you can make a winning statement, a touchdown, frankly, at your next game. Tim Laird, cookbook author and America's chief entertaining officer, is here this morning with quite a spread to show you how to do that. Tim, welcome. <laughs> Good to be here, Dan. Look at this. I'll tell you what, I, I love tailgating season. Who doesn't? I, mean, I, gotta be honest, <laughs> listen, I don't see a pony keg, and I don't see a funnel, so you're going first class on this Yeah, spread. we are. We really are. And i got to tell you about my cocktail. This is what okay. I call the pigskin punch. Real easy to make. Nice. Simply uh, lemonade, three ounces, two ounces. Can iced I? tea. Yes, you may. Right. And one ounce of peach nectar. Now, that was just that cocktail. Mm -hmm. I put it in a jar so you can bring it to your event. Mm. Just add ice. And I like to add a little bourbon to mine. I'm going to kick <laughs> mine up uh, just so uh, it's a tailgate party. Oh, I'm going to have a little bit of Woodford Reserve goes in. And it mixes wonderfully. And by the way, the uh, recipe's on uh, uh, the World News Now Facebook page. So let me give this a try. Cheers. Here's to the game. Cheers to you. Boom. Exactly. Let's see how we did. I'm driving, so I'll take mm -hmm. on this one. But yeah, I mean. Oh, wow. Mm. It's uh, nice. Even on its own, it's nice without the Woodford. No, but, uh, very good. But I'll tell you, when you so, kick it up with Woodford, it goes to another level. Geez, anyway, it's that delicious. Much better, A to an A plus. So you're, you're putting this in a mason jar, seal it right. up, and then you're adding seal the ice it. afterwards. Uh, exactly. Just add ice or uh, and or bourbon at your option uh, when you get to the tailgate party itself. All right. So, so we're drinking. What else are we we're doing? We're drinking. Here's a twist. Uh, dogs and brats are great at any tailgate party, but Staples. this is a, this is something a little twist on that. And this is what I call my touchdown tacos. Nice. Real easy to make. I just bring tins of. Uh, this is actually just uh, chicken bread with a little taco uh, uh, spice onto it, a little ground sirloin with a little taco seasoning. I set okay. up the tacos, the flour, the corn, and then your fans can build it. I put a little muffin tray in here, put all the toppings in there. Keeps your fans can build it. Oh, yeah. From blowing away. Even then. a buffalo chicken taco. This is great. Here's buffalo wings. Oh, yeah. Wants it. So you don't need the bones. So basically, there's the chicken. Okay. We're, we're going to add a little bit of blue cheese dressing all goes right. in. Just a little bit, just to give it a little... Boom, Watching just like our that. Waistlines. And you got to have uh, a little hot sauce, of yeah. course, if it's going to be buffalo chicken. So I use um, nice. a little bit of that. That goes in. There you go. You can season up. And as this much is all, I mean, this is all stuff you can make ahead of time. Yep. So make it ahead of time. Like the, you know, fold day it over. Or anything oh yeah, like that. this is good. And again, you have all these different topping assortments, so your fans can make it face. like they want it. See what you think. It's mm. that authentic buffalo chicken without the bones. Boom. Then, this is a nice side, too. This mm. is my uh, bean salsa. Mm -hmm. Real simple to make. I mean, it's simply uh, black beans, pinto beans, a little bit of cilantro, green onion, lime juice, cumin. Uh, mix that up, and it's ready to go. And I put it in an individual container so your guests can grab themselves. A little bit healthier than just having, like, the regular chips and salsa. <laughs> right. And actually, this could be a filler if you want a vegetarian taco as an option, too. You're going to be keeping the benches warm with <laughs> yeah, this extra. Exactly. This <laughs> exactly. So, all right, so once you finish up with this, we've got yep. something to drink, something to eat, and now... End zone this time. is what I've been eyeing the entire time. <laughs> this here. is great. I buy those little uh, brownie pops, put a little holder in it, and mm. then I bring out caramel or chocolate syrup. Uh, you can top that with that, maybe add a little bit of nuts on it. Your fans are happy, a little sweet ending. That's a perfect way to do it. Take it to the stands, go off for the, uh, watch the rest of the game. I'm still choking this. No, it's good, it's good, isn't it? Good, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And finally, if you want to do a traditional uh, tailgate, I found this company online. It's called Feed the Party, feedtheparty.com. Okay. And they'll send free shipping to your house overnight, this box that has everything in it for your tailgating party, whether you want steaks, really? pork chops, hamburgers, brats. Uh, they have all the buns. They have all the uh, sauces. Everything in one box comes to your desk. You take it to the uh, uh, party, and you're set to go. All in and, one. And how much is this? Uh, the, for all that, was only $79. And proceeds uh, go to a, a, a food bank, so charity. So you're helping That's, out. Feed the. You know, so it's unbelievable. Feed the party. This is good. This is good stuff. So I mean, this is almost this is almost cheaper than what you can get in the store individually pricing these things. It, it out. really is. And I checked them out. They really have quality meats and and everything in it. Because again, I, I wanted to talk about. It. What a great idea for your tailgate party or any party that uh, it just gets delivered to your front door. Take it with you, and you're all set to go. So even if the home team loses, you're still going to come away a winner, right? <laughs> yeah, Which yeah. that's or, never going to happen. Or, 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 or you go back to your pigskin <laughs> punch. If, if the team's losing, you can still have that. Exactly. It depends on how much that bottle is going to be gone. Tim Laird, <laughs> right. thank you so much. We appreciate it. Of course, you can always find Tim's recipes on our Facebook page, WNNFans.com. You're watching World News Now. Tim, cheers. Cheers. Absolutely. Just open your mouth and close your eyes.